I'm with Chad from Peak Body Fitness here to get his insight on some crucial questions answered for my viewers at our doctor. Hi, Carissa. Again, it's a pleasure to talk with you as always. One of the big questions I get asked is, does taking testosterone help men and women lose weight? I know that testosterone is a steroidal hormone produced by both men and women. However, women make about one-tenth the amount that men do. Testosterone, or DHEA, is responsible for increasing muscle mass and bone density, including additional body hair. When testosterone levels are decreased, both men and women will experience weight gain and other health-related risks that go along with it. Low T levels in either men or women can adversely affect their health, such as low sex drive, obesity, and depression. What are your thoughts on this, Chad? No, I absolutely agree with that. Uh, women gain weight much more easily than men because of their higher estrogen levels. And other causes of low T in women may include birth control pills, which add prolactin, antidepressants, extreme dieting, uh, drinking soy milk, and other soy products. Long-term testosterone therapy in both sexes, which have these low levels, may see significant and sustained weight loss, a smaller waist circumference, and a body mass index level improvement. Thanks, Chad. Another question I get asked is, how long does it take for exercise to help improve erectile dysfunction? I would say that those who perform 30 to 40 minutes of moderate to high intensity exercises four times a week should see noticeable improvement in their bedroom performance in about four to six weeks. And those looking for faster results can perform pelvic floor exercises that strengthen and improve tone in the pubococcygeus or PC muscle. Um, it can take up to four to six weeks again for a person to, to notice a significant difference in their erections. In your opinion, which exercise is best for men to improve their erectile dysfunction? You know, believe it or not, most men who perform Kegel exercises or pelvic floor exercises have shown significant improvement in addressing their erectile dysfunction. Uh, we often associate that with women, but men should be doing that too. The ischiocavernosis and bulbocavernosis muscles in the pelvic area surround the penis, and those are active during an erection. Now, as these muscles get stronger, you may notice other changes happening within your body, such as better control over premature ejaculation and not having to go to the bathroom to urinate as often. So most don't think to exercise these muscles, or have never even heard of them, but they're essential to understanding the male anatomy. Very interesting. Do you think ED can be reversed or cured with diet and exercise, or even cured permanently? Well, to answer that, I would say a, a study from the Journal of Sexual Medicine found that some men can reverse erectile dysfunction with healthy, healthy lifestyle changes, such as exercise, weight loss, a well-balanced diet, and good sleep. Now, a third of men who stick to this regimen may not need medication or help from any medical devices. Now, some excellent foods to help restore a stronger erection uh, would include oatmeal, avocado, bananas high in potassium, spinach, dark leafy greens, watermelon, um, varieties of salmon, and um, blackberries. In a 2018 study on physical activities impact on erectile dysfunction, aerobic exercises were proven to fight the effects of ED, if practiced at least four times a week. So workouts should last at least 40 minutes and you should maintain a steady exercise routine for at least six months to see really significant improvements with erectile dysfunction. And also foods rich in L-arginine can assist the body in making nitrous oxide which helps widen and relax blood vessels. Now, if you maintain a healthy lifestyle, you may not need medications like Viagra or Cialis, but if you do need medicines for help, you may not need as big a dose. You may need a smaller milligram dose of this drug rather than a total dosage, which is healthier for your body overall. But you should check with our doctor if you decide to go this route. How about cardio? Would that help men achieve harder and long sustaining erections? Increased blood flow definitely assists with that. And a study found that moderate to intense aerobic exercise or cardio for 40 minutes daily, four times per week for six months, 
has helped men reduce their erectile dysfunction. So exercises like fast walking, elliptical, bike, uh, Stairmaster, swimming, anything pretty much that gets you a good sweat will give you better results. And not only are you gonna get a good sweat, but you'll feel great about yourself and you're gonna feel better. So I'd also consider resistance and strength training as it will improve endothelial functions. And it's, it's perfect for your blood vessels. Let's do a product review on DHEA. How can a product like this DHEA by Peak Body affect the man's erection? Okay, well, the label shows the serving size is one tablet a day. I'd recommend taking this pill alone with water before or after a workout with a meal. But you're gonna wanna check with your doctor first if you have any concerns at all. So some of these ingredients like tribulus, uh, tangan ali, gr it's a great ingredient, magnesium, and other elements that will assist with prostate health. Now, DHEA will help most men restore testosterone levels, especially for those that are well below the normal range. Now, other ingredients appear to be excellent for weight loss, focus, and muscle growth. Now, I've used similar products like this. I've seen them on the market, but this one seems very unique because it has a broader range of help with certain types of ailments. I get asked whether testosterone is necessary to obtain a fuller and more prolonged lasting erection. Well, it's common knowledge that your testosterone level will gradually decline as you age. That's true. And even in healthy men and women. With men, however, erectile dysfunction and hypogonadism are expected in the aging process, but they may not be directly related to your testosterone levels. So having normal testosterone levels doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna have normal erections. But when you get older, your blood flow is not how it used to be. So a product like DHEA is gonna assist in opening blood vessels to allow that additional blood flow needed to maintain a longer lasting erection. Now, check your levels using an at-home test kit or give a blood sample at your doctor's office. Some, some people also use a saliva or urine sample most companies or office locations will get your results back to you within about 48 to 72 hours. So testosterone will also help you if you have low T because your levels of the male sex hormone have dropped below normal. When that happens, it's gonna affect your sex life and your sex drive. So having performance issues. In this case, some men will get TRT injections to restore their levels to normal and continue taking the injections every other week in conjunction with something like HCG to help with uh, penile growth, testicular volume, and uh, free range testosterone. So how much weight can you lose while being on testosterone or TRT? Well, if you're having, if you're experiencing low testosterone or if you've recently noticed a significant drop in your male sex hormone, it will, can definitely increase body fat, especially around the belly. Now, it can quickly turn your once athletic V-shaped physique into something that's a lot softer and rounder, and I experienced that. Um, a study followed the progress of men who received testosterone replacement injections, and on average, those who participated in the test lost approximately 20 to 25% of their body weight. That's significant. And those in the group who didn't participate gained roughly 4% of their body weight. So you're gonna see decreases in fat after about three to six months when using testosterone, but will notice gains of leaner body mass in the form of muscle as long as you're actively participating in resistance training. Now participants did notice body redistribution of weight such as fat and that were diminished from the hips and thighs and relocate to your legs and arms but in the form of muscle definition. So, although testosterone is not primarily used for fat loss, I still believe in maintaining a healthy lifestyle through diet and exercise. Thank you for being here with us, Chad. From all the staff from Peak Body and our doctor, we would like to wish you the best on your journey with managing your testosterone and ED through exercise and fitness. You deserve to feel great and look great. Good luck and make sure to like and follow us if you want to see other videos. Take care.